Guys, it's 25 minutes. Welcome to the jungle. This is XQC. This damn salt! Cut Lord piece of shit. So you are. Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck, suck. So what now? What the hell, you bitches? He was once one of the Overwatch League's best tank players. I think that if he can't, carries on performing like this, he could be a, a top three, top four tank in the league. XQC clinic has maximum. Oh my God. Are you He's kidding me? He's a product me? of the internet age. A kid Are you who kidding me? online. We, are you serious you right now? Dress. And then all at once, he was thrust into a professional world. It's a jungle in here, XQC! A clean cut franchise professional league where he had to be on his best behavior. Lock away his toxic side and put on a show for the fans. But that just wasn't lock away to his toxic side like out, go back there second oh, fight cock, uh, i mean he would like but this is the story of xqc yeah i've never watched it guys i'm legit okay the reason that probably that i get lucky when i meet people on no pixel is because i never watched any of this shit i don't know them like when i met mr chang for the first time i didn't know he was mr chang you know like i didn't know any of these famous people so i never got nervous or I never felt anything, you know what I mean? It really helped me. Because otherwise, you know, some people get a little bit starstruck, you know? Because you, you meet somebody big. Like, when I... I think when I heard X's voice the first time, I was like, who the fuck is this guy with a shit mic? <laughs> and, then, uh, and then somebody fucking DM me and was like, bro, that's... Uh, that's the XQC, man. <laughs> i like, yeah, okay. <laughs> We're looking for the top players in the world and the team owner Bro, that's the, who will form that's the, guy, man. the Overwatch League. <laughs> a brand new game and a fully franchised geolocated league. A league that had the power to create superstars uh, okay. overnight. The Overwatch League changed the game. We are working towards launching the Overwatch League as the pinnacle of Overwatch Esports. One that all aspiring players and audiences Why is it about Blizzard? Oh, it's a Blizzard game, right? And call their own. When the Overwatch League was first announced, it instantly made waves across competitive gaming. Those with a first-person shooter background flocked to the game for a shot at a pro contract. Everyone wanted in on the ground floor. One of those being Felix XQC Langel. Langel? Wait, that's his name? Langel? Baton? Oh! XQC was a tank main and was building a reputation as an incredible talent while piloting Winston, one of the game's premier space makers. He was aggressive yet controlled. Felix Langer. Something he wasn't. Quebecois. Like many other up and coming players, XQC paired his competitive aspirations with a rapidly growing Twitch stream. As a broadcaster, he was completely uncaged. Yo! Loads of toads! Welcome to the jungle! Thanks for subscribing! Woo! Let's fucking do it! Let's stop! Dude, we got a fucking sub! We got a, we got a, we got a fucking sub! What? I love that fucking sub! A subscription to my channel! Wait, is he trolling? Or was this like when he first started streaming? Is, is he trolling or is this when he first started streaming? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go! The living embodiment of the internet. A master of memes, games, chugging cokes, rage Oh, somebody told you to react hard there, okay. Trademark flame. Cloudmaker, cock lord. Paid service, cocky cocky. Cock lord, piece of shit. So you are. For XQC, his journey began with a team called Datsit, which won a small DreamHack Montreal event, and then Q question mark, which was later acquired by Denial Esports. Hey guys, my name is XQC. I'm the current tank for Team Denial, and I play a lot of competitive games, so you might know me from solo queue as well. And it was with Arc 6 wait, that wait, 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 wait. for Season 0 of the Overwatch League. He sounded very normal there. He sounded very normal there. What's What changed? I'm the current tank for Team Denial, and I play a lot of competitive games, so you might know me from solo queue as well. 
and it was with Arc 6 that they qualified for Season 0 of the Overwatch League Contenders, a proving ground for players <laughs> who hope to reach the big leagues. Pre-fuel. Contenders, many of the game's most influential eyes were on the Overwatch World Cup in 2017. <laughs> you fucking idiots, man. Pre-fuel. This you fucking Pepegas, man. For the first season of the Overwatch League, <laughs> and XQC preview. was the main tank for Team Canada. It's a jungle in here! <laughs> and XQC might just get this done himself. There's nothing he can't do. He can't get to the payload. He's being pushed away. And that is going to be the second checkpoint coming up here for Canada. Oh, that hole was huge. Oh, it's a beautiful setup for XQC to get the earth shot up, but the damage wasn't quite there. But look at all oh, the. Bro, I don't understand Overwatch at all, man. I've never even tried it, it, tried it once. I've never even loaded it once. Mercy one, mercy dead. Not traditionally known as an esports powerhouse, Canada impressed at the event and showed some great synergy and teamwork understand. that helped them overcome. I know that the Koreans were like the best, right? The, the Koreans. Oh no, no! I remember what uh, something about um, Overwatch. I was like. I was reading the teams. There was like Team London, Team like it's all the cities, but every player was like a fucking foreigner. Every player on the team was like Team London. It's a bunch of Koreans and shit. Like what the fuck? To keep this game alive, it's not going to be enough. Australia, you're Crocodile Dundee. This is why Canada. He just said Crocodile Dundee. The fuck? It's meant to be. <laughs> Great synergy and teamwork that helped them overcome some of the worst. There's gotta be a Filipino player in here somewhere, man. From contest this point whatsoever, or over time it is, but we're in Australia. Aita, desperately, it's a valiant attempt to keep this game alive. It's not gonna be enough. Australia, you're crocodile dandy. This is what Oh, you're done. Very funny. That's what we said there, man. Because it's a new patch. It's a new meta for so many people. But these guys pulled their socks up and adjusted mid-series to bring the reverse sweep. That's true grit, the hallmark of a champion. Stello is out of the picture. Manager gets be suited and taken out. Overtime is ticking down. Sweden, where are they? They're trying to jump on towards the point. They're rushing in. But Canada, they put the flag in the ground. The North belongs to the Maple Leaf. The Maple and Leaves. The finals, where they eventually Holy. were dispatched by a star-studded South Korean team. There you go. That's what I've seen. League's future stars. There you go. My and people see was voted by the fans as the, the best man. MVP. Hackers. Thank you so much for who voted. Thank you so much. Congratulations once again, guys. Give it up for XUC. Give it up for South Korea. Wait, he won. When the World Cup came to a close and it was time for the league's franchises to start signing players for their inaugural rosters, XQC's name was prominent among prospective main tanks. DP Nerds, DP Nerds, DP Nerds, DP behind us. Oh, he won MVP. Holy shit. Dude. I, that, yeah, that's kind of like football, where the man of the match doesn't have to be from the winning team. If somebody did really well, even though they lost. Holy fuck! I'm a maniac at this game! And on October 28th, 2017, the Dallas Fuel announced XQC as the ninth member of their Overwatch League Season 1 roster. XQC is a spaz who can somehow barely keep his life together, but <laughs> he absolutely dominates his Winston in game. <laughs> like, that's not what a lot of people would say from a guy who has not been playing professionally for a long time. The hell? He's very, very driven to improve, and I really admire that about him. When he actually gets confident in himself and his team, I think he's going to do great things. He will stream all day. He will play all day. He doesn't care. All he wants to do is play and get good. Heading into the league, they were advertised as But he looked really the young there, man. Especially when you looked at the roster, they managed he to He looked really together. fucking young there. The likes of XQC on the tank line, the talent of players like Taimu and Mickey, and the versatility of Seagull, they look to be one of the premier teams to beat. They have been the strongest Western How is the prize the money in Overwatch, guys? This is a team with pedigree and so much talent on the roster. But they stumbled out of the gates. Down 2-0, we're into OT. Can Mickey get this ultimate? Was he, he, was he rich before he got famous drugs. famous? Or like, so did he get rich from Overwatch or what? Again, there is OT, and so our last map 
will end in a draw, which means that Soul Dynasty. Adept said yes, so I'll agree. Has taken this series. This is just spinning out of control now for Dallas. Time ticking away, and that is it. LA Valiant will take Nimbani and oh, the Koreans are there. The series three Los Angeles oh, Valiant three oh. will be the result of this match between them and Dallas Fuel. In the Overwatch League, the Houston Outlaws 4 0. Dallas Fuel, the swing. I wonder how much money they made compared to the CSGO peak, man. All the majors and shit. Worse for the organization. Whoa. A homophobic slur at Austin, Muma Wilmot. Oh, my God. Gay player. In the wise words of a good friend of mine, rolled and smoked my doggies. No, no, he didn't smoke shit. Uh, no. Shut your fucking mouth. Go back there. Second fat cock. Uh, I mean, he would like it. So many games ahead. <laughs> What the Many fuck? Overwatch League fans, this was their oh, first no. exposure to XQC's toxic side. Oh <laughs> no! First time getting into trouble. Even prior to joining Dallas, he had his account suspended by Blizzard for abusing oh, their in-game reporting no. system on stream. He was using it to spam report the accounts of teammates that refused to switch off characters he thought weren't good enough for competitive play. I report someone that is genuinely fucking up the game, and I get banned in 24 hours. <laughs> That's not okay! And while his online fame was just starting to grow, XQC's style of digital absurdity offered ample opportunity for him to cross the line of what was acceptable. <laughs> go! Go! Sock me! Sock me for voice tag! Go stag and fucking beat the arm fucking eat you! Get the fuck out of my side of my bitch! He fed off the energy of what his the fuck is and that? and humored them when they urged him what to What the fuck is that, that bro? The fuel took matters into their own hands after the league's announcement as well. Extending his ban from just four games Are to you the entire kidding rest me? of the stage to reinforce their stance on his actions. Uh, I apologize. I'm super sorry to <laughs> people that I've let down, people that support me, that see me differently now. Shut the and, fuck uh, up, Kyle. Kind of. Members of the LGBT, um, <laughs> Shut are, the fuck up, dude. Uh, move on set, even though I fucking directly. Uh, the outlaws as a whole. Uh, my team. Damn, bro. This moment. Um, that's how he sounded when he was about to work for Burger Shot, by the way. <laughs> I'm turning a new leaf, man. I'm turning a new leaf, man. I got a full day job. <laughs> entirely. This could have been a huge deal, a huge disaster for the health of the whole entire This league. motherfucker. I understand that now. And I'm sorry. And when he returned from his band, this he motherfucker. Prove on stage. Wait, 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 wait. He did that apology video in one try. <laughs> okay, but. All right, brother. Sure, buddy. No, he took a fucking horse tranquilizer and did that video, man. He says, forget the earth shadow, but no, Harry Hook gets Fissure anyway. They're not even going to get the Reinhardt ultimate out. Costa going in now with the coalescence. They use the sound barrier from Harry Hook as well. Hydration back in. There's a Graviton Surge. There's XQC with the double kill. The time is building one more time. The last attack for Dallas Fuel. It looks like it may have done it. Earthshatter coming in, but Fissure can't capitalize. And Dallas Fuel will win King's Row. Uh, I'm super happy to be back uh, after being like a month off and in my room. Um, I'm super glad. Uh, Pong Chem in the chat and thanks for everyone who supported us. Pong Chem in the chat. And thus began Pong Chem in the chat. Of Pong Chem in the chat. The constant back and forth between his offstage antics and his increasingly strong onstage performance. What I love about this as well is that he comes back in and deals so much damage afterwards. That we're into <laughs> this graviton. Generates almost another one and then blocks that dead eye that was coming out from sure for that's I mean, a fantastic you know. Bro, this game looks so messy he returned to stage two with that a game looks so messy. I can't understand that dude among the league's best main tanks I think that Like I actually cannot like this, understand a, a that game to watch the I, guy's know, got skills. I know that would make a lot of fans happy oh, you guys want to Like what the hell is that? But the whispers of X the visual color is insane bro just as quickly as they started on March 9th, 2018, XQC was suspended by Blizzard for the second time in his <laughs> Again? stages. 
This time, they're using the try-hard emote in a racially disparaging way towards one of the Overwatch League's casters. Oh, no. I, I didn't, I, I, I didn't tap in into the Overwatch League and, and looked at who's on screen or whatever. Is this, I understand. is this the, like, prime example of any publicity is good publicity? It, it could look, at, look like it, but I post it so very often. You know. I post it all the time. It's literally just how I greet people. That I was just like, dude, what? The Dallas Fuel took action, and this time there was no shot at redemption. Now to announce the release of Felix XC Langel voice. Like more than Langel. Immediate release. Monsters. Not even two full stages into his Overwatch career, XQC, one of the league's most talented tank players and popular personalities, was removed from the Fuel entirely. Just as quickly as his rise to fame happened, his career looked to be all but over. So for me, like, the Overwatch League as a whole was pretty, um, bittersweet, to say the least. When I got in, I was really fucking happy, right? And I was like, Pog Champ, and everyone was happy for me, dude. And it was, uh, it was nice, but I just felt, um, all undeserving anyway. Yo, Smooch, thank you for five months, bro. I appreciate you. on the Overwatch League stage was over. Oh, boys. I decided it's all to donate voice. because I saw that you were released. Since you will be going home as soon as the least I could do. It, Aww. Stay safe on the streets, my man. This is it. Cue dramatic music, boys. XQC immediately focused all of his attention. That's actually sad. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna debate them. Oh, but he still played like casually. Just not in the league, right? As a broadcaster, the now outcast XQC instantly flourished. During his first three months as a professional streamer after being kicked off the fuel, his channel spiked up to almost 10,000 viewers concurrently. And they were there for exactly the same person that the Overwatch League had banned. So what now? What now, you bitches? I'm gonna leave the chat. He's now 06. This thing sucks! No, I don't give a fuck, I normally get I'm respectful. Don't shit! <laughs> he got unhinged guys i don't have a league to care about anymore i have no more rules <laughs> strung out on red cans of coke let me go motherfucker yo what's up with me bro i'm just watching this video before i fucking pass out fucking bitches that's why broken Uh, it's actually better now. Thank you. Keep a bomb, watch out. <gasps> what the fuck, dude? He was streaming Overwatch primarily. His ascent to the top 500 on ladder mixed with the odd Tracer game so he could show off his DPS pocket pick. Holy shit. Pop it up. Right. Whippy, how are you awake right now, bro? KV out, thank you for the sub, bro. Chat, we're 20 subs away from 1925. 2k away from the 15k big goal. Thank you so much, everybody. What the fuck? Did I kill the whole team? How are you winning this? What the fuck? I killed the whole team, dude. But despite his high level of play, this wasn't a competitive stream. It was meant Don't worry, Whippy. One day I'm going to join you and wake up and memes and the stream. The I need to do it, too. And smashing your keyboards and talking trash. All compartmentalized into one Twitch URL. What the Packaged fuck? Packaged up nicely. Let's fucking go, Let's fucking go, I'm shitting even a tier one, dude. fucking shit. This is two stops. Let's fucking go. And now, free from the shackles of professional obligations, he let it all loose for thousands to see. Uh, I deleted one vine, but I'll leave the rest. <laughs> and whether you loved him or you hated him, thought he was a talented tank player or a toxic gamer, he was still growing. 
later in 2018, he was signed to an Overwatch contenders team. Uh, by the way, Chad, I'm reconnecting to No Pixel right now. It was a little bit laggy for me, so I'm not I'm not taking up space right now. Holy sh guys, look at the queue right now. Two hundred people are trying to log on. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Forty eight hour queue. After XCC works at Burger Shot, shut up, Volpe. <laughs> In the wake of his departure, Claire, thank you for the hundred bits. Was still invited Appreciate to you, man. One day, one day, guys. Overwatch World we'll make it. To feel, uh, you know, the people in the crowd, the energy, the, uh, the competitive aspect. It's a lot of fun. So I'm glad you're back. Throwing body after body. Wait, 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 wait. He got invited back. What was that? He got he got invited back to the league. Was he just getting too famous? But at that point, too famous at that point, they had to take him back, right? Too famous, too good. Okay, I get it. Oh, it's a World Cup. Damn. He fucked him up. But even though he knew he was walking on thin ice, he was unable to keep himself out of trouble. The 2018 World Cup was not the Cinderella story Canada and XQC had hoped for. Oh shit. Of course the Asians, bro. Yeah, we're normally good at games, man. We're normally good at games. Five stars on the flag. Five stars from the judges. And China will be in a gold medal match. In 2019, XQC is a streamer and broadcaster first. I think XQC is probably going to be one of your next big boys. I think he's awesome. I think he's going to do great. And I think he's really doing a good job with picking the right games to play. His concurrent Aww. viewership numbers have... And now they work at Burger Shot together. <laughs> jumped to more than 15,000 at a time most months and his popularity online has surpassed the community's <laughs> sports community and started to blend in with some of the most popular damn he was at 15,000 wait wait he was 2015 15k viewers in 2019 holy shit oh shit Oh shit, the hair got long here, Victory chat. Royale! The hair got long. Victory! He's a fixture within the uber popular subreddit R Livestream Fails, and he started to broaden the scope. Oh, this last year is when he popped circle. off. Okay. XQC's body looks like that alien in, in Men in Black. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna find it. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's now often interacting <laughs> with many of the other top general interest streamers in Soda Poppin and Greek God X. Are we gonna ha at least live near each other so we can hang out when we're done shooting? Yeah, of course he was over 100k sure, two hours ago, we're man. We're live next to each other and we're never gonna go out. Because we were ordering food from him <laughs> in Burger Show. Because we're bored. <laughs> yeah. Well, despite the game still being a fixture on his channel, you'd be hard to still call XQC an Overwatch. Streamer. Motherfucking Tay Tay! It's difficult to call him any one thing because his channel truly is a living, breathing entity. He'll do, play, or watch whatever's funny, whatever's dramatic, or whatever people are talking about online. He's a variety streamer, top 500 Overwatch player, and online tastemaker. <laughs> He's chasing one thing and the only thing. What, he calls what the, the fuck juice. was that? There's no clear definition. Oh shit, I forgot says. about the hype chain chat. It, it died. God damn it, man. God damn it, chat. It can be anything. Nobody can define what it is for you. You know what the juice is, right? For me, like sometimes, I feel like the juice is. Whenever I win, I pop off, right? Like, I go. Ah, oh, monkey bag. Poof. Mold. Poof. That's my juice. Right? Hello. 
Fuck this game, bro. Fuck this game. I don't get it. Yo! What the fuck? Yo, what the? Actual, actual six k chipping chip, boys! Oh my god! <laughs> Juxtaposed within his gaming content is what has he come just, to be some of the most popular content. He just on his felt channel. it, bro. Him just sitting in front of a camera. He just felt it, bro. Things. Go again. Go again. We go again, chat. Uh, I guess I think it's uh, time to go again. He's added what he calls the Reddit recap every week, where he and his fan base traverse Reddit and watch and react to all of the most popular clips and highlights in the online world. Glenn this, for the you know what? This guy's actually like some kind of fucking. He's actually like some kind of fucking genius, isn't he? Like the content that like he just comes up with. He just fucking comes up with it. He's like Papega, but he knows what he's doing. He knows what he, he knows what he's doing to entertain people. Dude, dude, really? Dude, honestly? Who would fall for this? I entered in something. Oh, I entered in... <laughs> <laughs> this is in addition to Media Monday, where, in what might be the most terrifying content creation act of all time, he allows his chat to decide absolutely everything on screen for the entire stream. Does he still do this? I don't think so, right? This is too scary. You get banned real quick for this shit. <laughs> He'll do anything. He'll IRL stream, play a hand simulator, watch YouTube, just chat, or literally sleep for nine hours. <laughs> It's the ultimate chat experience. Somehow, some way, just there's sleep. a streamer what? who will more or less do. Hey, it. didn't Asmund go? He was waiting for Q on WoW, and he fucking went full ham, right? Ever they ask of him at any time? Can you lick your elbow? <laughs> Why would you want me to lick my elbow? But at oh, that's your cost? shoulder, dumbass. And that is truly the question. That's your shoulder, dumbass. You see. On one hand, we have this revolutionary personality, the kind of rambunctious energy that's infectious enough to have an entire subreddit, Discord channel, and community built around him simply acting crazy online. What the fuck? Jesus, kill me. And on the other hand, you have someone who has been harmful to a portion of the gaming zeitgeist. What Someone who's is unafraid that? to cross lines, uses slurs like they're commonplace, and unabashedly attacks teammates and competitors. So who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? You're so fucking stupid. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? You're barely GM, dude. You're barely GM. You're barely GM, dude. You, you probably yell, fuck us, and you have one sleep on the fucking line. Fuck you. Get a purple, get a grip. Just fucking go the game. Fuck off. Avoid it, piece of shit. He's a living, breathing <laughs> enigma, a symbol of the rampant, unstoppable growth that is what the fuck is that shit? Content creation, while simultaneously How? attacking his own growth by reinforcing the dark cloud of what bigotry that hangs over gaming in its darkest hours. Recently, Are he's you moved back to LA me, bro? and he signed with the LA Gladiators contenders roster. Hey, shields up, baby, boys! I just joined the. Gladiators and the Sentinels. Is this his path back to the pros? Is a real redemption arc in the future? Is XQC good or bad for gaming? A hero <laughs> or a villain? Well, that's for you to decide. Damn. Epic. <laughs> uh, but without question, he's only going to get bigger Damn. before we find out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I can't, I can't wait for the update on this video. Now, XQC. He decides to go on no pixel and role plays with two different people. <laughs> One guy, whippy, the other guy, an Asian guy. <laughs> Listen. <you. laughs> After getting banned back to back to back.
ignoring admin messages. <laughs> I'm different. I'm different.